you first, ladies and gentlemen, the challenger on my right. And his hard-hitting defending champion opponent on my left. He's got him low. Here it is. Carl on a hit scoop. Here it is. The ball ball. It's now the second leading scorer in the history of the game. Inside comes Carter. Behind the back. What a play. What a feat to Morris Peterson. There's Nash. Oh, great behind the back. to shot where he for the slam. Mobley with two. With one. No, that's a 40-foot heave. He got it. And won the game. Celtics looking for a miracle. Nets just try to hold on. Knocked away, thrown up, and good, good, incredible, absolutely incredible at the buzzer. Can't happen. Absolutely can't happen. from the other side. Hamilton picked it up. Don Nelson wants time as the Wizards are on a quick 6-0 run. This is starting to look similar. Hamilton off his foot with seven to shoot. Offensive foul. In that situation, I really would have preferred to see Hamilton keep the ball. He had about seven seconds. He's a better creator. And uh, Juwan was outside of his comfort range and knew, you knew he had to put it on the floor. Nash, way up oh. high, misses. Booth has it. Hamilton goes all the way. Score the basket, he'll go to the line. Well, what a strong move and effort from Hamilton. We, we always talk about the sleight of Bill, but that time he took the ball to the basket with some authority, protected it, went strong. I believe Hubert Davis picked up the foul. Has a chance for another three-point play here. And now the Mavericks' lead is eight. Six. 16 to play in regulation. Davis for three. He can nail him, and he did. Hubert Davis shoots 43% from long range. Only has five tonight. Off his foot out of bounds. Hubert Davis had that play. And they are crashing the boards now. And they'll give it to Dallas. To watch this pass, and as he receives that, he's coming right towards you and I, Steve. <laughs> we kind of looked at each other. But uh, you see the overplay there. He puts the ball on the floor. Nice move. Finley, short jumper. Lopez with another rebound. He's done a nice job on the boards tonight with nine. Howard backs up for a fadeaway and can't find the range. 
six of 16 from the field for Jawan tonight. A lot of those shots were bothered by the big men. Three seconds, two, this is good if it goes, and it does. Three-point field goal for Michael Finley with one second on the shot clock and a 20-second timeout taken by Leonard Hamilton. So the lead is 14 for Dallas after the Wizards cut it to eight. Third quarter. Finley's got 21, Bradley 14 points and 14 rebounds, and Steve Nash 12 points and 10 assists. Jerome King's jumper is good. Wizards are led by Howard and Hamilton with 16 each. Whitney has 11 and seven assists. And Lopez has 12 points and nine rebounds. The Wizards had a seven point lead in the first half. Fell behind at halftime and really could never get back. They cut it to two at one point. And then cut this lead to eight. And that's as close as they've been. Shot. A couple of Mavs go down, but uh, he still laid it softly off the backboard. And you can see his game is getting to the basket. Wizards with a pressure defense. Whitney called for a foul. Fifth personal on Chris Whitney. So Nash will go to the free throw line. Here's another look. Lopez has 16 tonight. I, I really think he could round out his game much better if he'd uh, feel more comfortable with that outside jumper. But he's very good at getting to the basket. Steve Nash, born in Johannesburg, South Africa, but raised in Victoria, British Columbia. He played hockey, lacrosse, soccer. And played for their national basketball team. Went to University of Santa Clara. <laughs> for the Wizards without Rod Strickland, Mitch Richmond, Jahidi White, who's missed seven games, including tonight's contest, after injuring his knee on a West Coast road trip. The word is that Strickland will be out for three more games with uh, some tissue damage in his shoulder. Hamilton, no. Finley, reverse layup. The Washington played well in the first half, got a little sloppy in the second, couldn't put the ball in the hoop. And it's Sean, academic now. Yeah, Sean Bradley has been a monster on the boards. That's 16 for the game. And remember, early on, Washington was dominating inside on the boards. Last year, after 33 games, the Wizards were 11 and 22. They're currently 7 and 26. And after 34 games, they were 11 and 23. After tonight, they'll be 7 and 27. Well, Chris Whitney just picked up his sixth foul, so he's le he leaves with 11 points and eight assists. Sean Bradley's season high in rebounding was 14 last night in Toronto. He's got 16 tonight for a new season high. Hamilton, short jumper, can't get it to fall. Tipped away from King and taken by Nowitzki. Second three-pointer right before the buzzer from Finley. 
on Bradley's career high in rebounding is 22. And that's 16 tonight for a season high. And the Mavs will be content to let this one run out. Wizards were in it for a good portion. Controlled much of the first half. Started uh, slowly in the third quarter, and it was a uh, bit downhill from there. Finley will take the jumper. Air ball, 24-second violation. So Washington will fall to 7-26, and 26, while Mark Cuban watches his team improve to 22-13. and 13. They've won 8 out of the last 11, and they've got their best 18-game road record to start a season in franchise history. 12-7 and 7 on the road. And this is their fifth consecutive road win. That's their best uh, ever in team history. Well, with 4.24 to go in the third quarter, it was still a two-point game, 65-63. Then Dallas went on a 16-3 run over the next six minutes to take a 15-point lead, and that was the 99th. Wizards fall to the Mavericks tonight, 103-85. to We'll come back to wrap it up after these words. One, there were some who believed he wasn't over 5'10", but Nate made up for his lack of size with his desire and work ethic. He was a